Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky the Third. Today, we're over in the uh, eastern branch of Grand Cell, and we're just going around and talking to people. Because what we have to actually do is head on over to the castle, um, so that Ina can sign the paperwork that she needs to sign in order to collect her inheritance. But before we go over there, let's do all the important things, like, you know, talk to NPCs. So, yeah, that's just uh, what we're going to do right now. It shouldn't take too long to get it all done. Let's see. Hey there. Oh. No. Okay. Huh. Oh. Oh. Ha <laughs> Healy! Well, we'll make it over to the church soon enough, so, yeah, we'll go there. Why not? Let's see. Let's head inside the, um, little news service. We saw Nile storm out of here the other day. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. A man right after Shara's own heart. Well, actually, Shara and I know. Oh, why? What's wrong with it? Oh. Huh. Yeah, this was the one that, uh, Niall was yelling about. Oh. Okay, so he was just kind of, like, dumping facts rather than, you know, like, really writing a nice, good, well-thought-out article? Hmm. The Fullet Surprise. <laughs> That's cute. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, why is that? Oh. Huh. Oh, wow. That's pretty awful. Huh. I guess he really didn't come into his own until, um, Dorothy was hired. So... Yeah, that's, that's kind of bad that he has to deal with that at work. That's awful. Saul Holden? Who's he? Oh. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, I know who that is! That's Ina's grandfather! It's gotta be his grandfather. Yeah. Huh. Oh. Okay, can I actually buy anything here? Oh. Really? Huh. Oh. Uh, I don't know. A loud noise last night. Huh. Maybe it was us slamming the uh, sewer gates or something? I don't know. Okay, so let's go on back up to the uh, town proper and head on over here. That was kind of neat with that NPC talking about Ina's grandfather there. Oh, Rachel's pregnant. Huh. Oh. I guess it must be General Morgan. Hmm. Oh. It's not your kid, though. You're Dahlia. Where's Rachel? Um, if I was having a baby, I don't think that I would want my maid to name it. Like, you know. I, I would imagine, you know, the father names the firstborn, and then the mother names the secondborn. That's how it worked out in my family, at least. Oh. Okay. This must be Rachel. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's good enough. Um, I was just curious as to what they actually decided to name the child, so I went back and I loaded up my, um, my first chapter, uh, save, and they actually named the kid Rianne, so, yeah, just, yeah, it's just kind of interesting there. Oh, okay. Oh, well, maybe we can get on a ship and go to the castle, like, through the moat or something. Oh, yeah, well, why not? Oh. Oh, yeah, we would kind of be like sitting ducks in a, you know, a boat with all those guards right there. They'd just shoot us and kill us. That wouldn't be good at all. Oh, I guess so. Oh. Um, if you say so, it sounds like a pretty boring job to me. Oh. Oh, yeah. You know, the nuns have to go clean up everything. They don't have, like, a maid service or anything. Oh, oh, guess what? This is the blind guy that we saw on the uh, Lusitania at the very beginning of the game. So, yeah. Wow, how do you know that? Oh. The air about you. Do you mean that she has, like, B.O. or something? <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, it is. Well, I can tell you right now where it came from. It came from, you know, horrible research. And, um, you know, basically investing into science and education. And, um, investing into airships rather than tanks and trains. Oh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. I wonder if we're ever going to get some kind of prequel of the Hundred Days War. I kind of doubt it at this point because it's more of a Trails in the Sky storyline, but it would be, you know, nice to have. And here we have Archbishop Current, which is the same guy that Julia was talking to back in her door, and she ended up, like, taking um, some clothes from him and dressing up like a nun. So that's kind of cool to see the uh, Archbishop there as well. Okay, so I... I think that that's everything. Yeah, we can't go into the south block, so I'm not gonna bother. You just get like a little dialogue box. That's not the right way! Sort of thing from Ina, even though Ina is not supposed to know anything about how to get around around here, so yeah. Oh, more of these guys. Oh no! How are we ever gonna get to the castle on time? Really? This is your plan? Seriously? No one will ever know that I'm in this box! <laughs> this <is> stupid. <laughs> Oh, is it a cat? How is a cat in this box? How? I guess it really is a cat. Oh. Oh, that's true. Maybe the girls are still in there. And that cat's like, get the hell out of here! <laughs> How is the cat able to move the box around? Hey! I guess it was just a uh, distraction the whole time! Woohoo! Got a preemptive attack! Nice! Um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and just attack. Whatever. There we go. Awesome. And you can do nothing! Yeah, get a critical bonus and waste it. Thanks, Ina. You suck! Uh, at least we're so much faster than these guys. We're getting like three turns for every one of theirs. So, that's pretty nice. Wow, we're getting like four turns. Really, Ina? Like, do something! Like, for real! Freaking do something! Oh, I hate missing... Oh, it's so bad. Let's see, if I get strength up, let's go ahead and kill you with one shot! There we are. Oh, bam! And eh, that's fine. Really? Really, Anna? Seriously? Seriously? Come on! What's up with all the missing? Holy crap! I'm going to scream. Like, oh my god! Like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> seriously? Okay, there we go. Finally! Man! That was pretty ridiculous, I've gotta say. What was that, like five misses in a row? I mean, come on. Yeah, let's do it, do it. Let's get the hell out of here. What is this, like, quadtuplets or septuplets now? How many eight? It was like the Octomom gave birth to you guys? Like, what in the world? Oh, twins or something. Oh. Well, and we know that he's the leader because he actually has a different colored hair. Of course! Yeah! Uh... Um, yeah, actually, I kinda sorta do. Who was that? Oh. Um... Yeah, I mean, there's eight of them, and there's two of you guys. Well, she seems to be pretty fast. She seems to be able to take care of herself. Oh, yeah, no kidding. There's no way. No. A bracer. I don't beg. Oh, well, how are you gonna get away from here, Sherizard? What are you gonna do? Oh! Well, that works. There's one down. You get seven more to go. Yikes! And who are you? Oh, hey! It's Kurt! Nice! Um, he's here to save your ass? Well, that's true, but aren't you kind of busy? Oh. Yeah, that's, uh, true. But honestly, I mean, what else is there to do? And I don't like how all these guys, they just, like, turn their back to listen to Kurt's speech. Shirazard and Ina should be, like, running into the castle at this point, while Kurt has all their backs turned. Like, seriously? These guys suck! Whoa! Take them all out? 
it. Rise storm from the space between sky and sea. Hey, pretty cool, but your targeting was kind of off. You should have targeted more in the middle and you got them all. Oh, hey, sweet! Really? You guys think that you guys can... Who's there now? What is going on? Oh, hey, we haven't seen you in quite some time. This is a uh, Gundolf, yeah. He's just kind of like a random NPC bracer that pops up here and there, but yeah, he's kind of a nice guy. He's also good friends with Agate, just in case you were wondering. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of funny. There's like little tiny known facts that I know about that sort of stuff, but then like major overarching plot points? Totally forgot about, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Well, we got you guys on a pincer attack, so let's do it. Um, that's not gonna happen. You guys suck. Oh, yeah. Now this must be uh, Ina's relative here, the one that's controlling all of these um, guys, the, the black suits, the men in black, I guess. Oh. Oh. Yeah, how hard could it possibly be to get rid of one young girl? Oh, well, here they are. Oh. Yeah. Huh, this is the one that took her in and tried to protect her, and he's the one that actually turned on her. Yeah, we're here with her. We can take you. Whoa! Oh, yeah, I think at this point, they just want the money. They're not too concerned about her life. Wow, and this uncle's like, why did you not just kill her? Wow, this uncle's cold-hearted. Oh, that's true. Once that noon bell rings, she is out of the inheritance entirely. Be awful. Whoa! And here we have somewhat maybe boss time, but not really. So just use Sylvan Whip on the leader and the uncle and get him down. Hopefully Ina will actually help me out, but I kind of doubt it. The uncle can heal himself. Um, he doesn't do it very often, and he can only heal himself by 50 HP. So, I wouldn't worry about it that much. Wow. <laughs> These guys are awful. BAM! She, like, knocks them halfway across the screen. It's so good. Okay, use another Sylvan Whip here, since they're all nice and together. Really? This missing is insane! Oh, you can, like, boost them up, too? Really? Like, you're getting on my last nerve with all your missing, Ina. Not a fan. Ha <laughs> hey! Took those two down. Bye, bitch! Bye! Uh-oh. Yeah, I can't let her get hit. She actually has a lot of HP for an NBC. But I'm sure on harder difficulties, you know, that would be more of a problem. But here, like, you get hit for, like, what, 17 damage or something? Like, it's not that big of a deal. Her accuracy is horrid. My god. She has, like, a 50% hit rate, it seems. Ooh! More levels that are completely useless! <laughs> Do it! Oh, yeah. Well, money's the root of all evil, as they say. You know, you really don't have time to stand around and talk about this right now. Um, you're like gonna miss out on millions of dollars if you don't get your ass inside this castle and fill out this paperwork. Well, let's just stand here and talk. Why don't we just take some afternoon tea while we're at it? <laughs> Where has this army been the whole time? You guys suck. Like, we've had to do all this crap for over 24 hours at this point, and the army had no clue that there were all these Jaegers out here? This is insane. Um, yeah? Yeah, I knocked the ever living crap out of them for the... For the for peace and order. <laughs> oh. Oh. Really? Why are you going to let me off this time? How do you know that I'm telling the truth? For all they know, we just robbed these guys blind. Would have gotten away with it this time if it wasn't for you kids. 
Oh. Okay. Yeah, Shirazard's like, um, are you done with your speech? Could you, like, go out and arrest some more of them? <laughs> Shirazard's like, um, yeah, I'm done with you. I'm over the army! Since when is the Bracer Guild over the army? I mean, that's kind of odd. Eh, whatever. At least they're nice guys. Oh, yeah, that's true. We were able to get pretty much where every wanted to go um, in first and second chapter by using that Bracer badge and everything. Oh, yeah, seriously. Get in there. These girls, they waste so much time. Man. Have you not figured out that she's actually pre pretty physically fit at this point, Sherizard? Yeah. Okay. Get it done. Be as quick as you can and walk as slow as humanly possible. She's like as slow as molasses in January. Oh my god. Come on, lady. Let's go. It's literally driving me crazy. Like, I want to pull up my hair, how slow they are walking. They're under a time crunch here. Like, they have, like, what, five minutes till noon? And they're just being, like, so ridiculously slow. Oh, well, great. We got it in for the noon bell. It's good. Well, what is it? What's wrong? Oh. Okay. Can I get a witness? Yeah, sure. I mean, she asked you to. Although you're probably supposed to just ask the, um, secretary here. I'm sure he does it all the time. He's standing right over your shoulder. Oh, yeah, that's right. So she's finished the, um, the quest and everything. So now she's able to be a senior bracer. That's pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, it was Saul John Holden, the guy that the other person in the cafe was talking about as far as the uh, person who died and all this technology and everything and, you know, all that money. So, yeah, it was him. It's kind of cool. Finally! Man, I don't know which one was longer, this one or Chloe's door. Like, my god, we're still not done? Seriously, lady? Seriously? Come on! Application? What, do you want to work here at the castle? Thought you were on a... Oh. Well, that's nice of her. Yeah, donate some of your money to, um, children's wel welfare and all that. Oh, well, isn't she a sweet girl? So, now what? Is it time to go? Oh, yeah. I love how it floats right over to the bar, because, yeah. Time to go drink like a fish! Sure! Actually, I just had a pool party at my house for my 35th birthday, and I got so fucking shit-faced drunk, it was insane! But, like, I didn't even mean to. My friend actually kept on, like, pouring, like, way too much liquor into my drink, because he was out of the pool, I was in the pool, so I kept on giving him my cup and being like, hey, could you go refill this? And, like, it was, like, literally a splash of Coke, and the rest of it was Bacardi Limon. And it's like, really? Seriously? And then I also had four shots, and I was just, like, out. It was bad. But I had a good time. It was fun. Oh. So you donated all of your money to the welfare fund, not just a portion of your inheritance. All of it? Wow. Well, she's really good, but, like, shouldn't you keep some of it away for a rainy day or an emergency fund or something? Oh, hey, Kurt. What's going on? Thanks for helping us out there. Thanks for uh, saving our life. That was really nice of you. Oh. <laughs> Cheryl's was like, crap, I know you saved my life, but, um, go away. <laughs> oh, well, that's nice. Yeah, I guess he is kind of your boss, or at least he was your boss whenever you were a junior bracer. Yeah. Oh, that's true. You sneak out at night, and between jobs you drink? You shouldn't be drinking on the clock. That's crazy. A drunken lunatic. <laughs> oh, I love it. 
Yeah, no kidding. Well, I guess this is why Ina actually has to work at the Bracer Guild, because she gave all of her fortune away. Man, screw that. I mean, I can understand making donations and everything, but 100%? I mean, come on. Save some of it. You never know what could happen. She could get hit by a bus tomorrow and have to pay a huge hospital bill or something. You know, you might have to pay for her kid's college or something. Who knows? That's nice of her, though. But, yeah, it's kind of impractical. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so it was Jaegers. I pretty much assumed that it was Jaegers. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Oh. Really? Have we ever stumbled upon, like, one single competent Jaeger core? Like, every single Jaeger that we come across seems to be the most incompetent boobs I have ever seen in my life. Except for, I guess, Fee. Like, Fee and Zephyr is pretty much it as far as, you know, good Jaegers that actually have a brain in their head. It just seems like they just, you know, they just. Falcon just kind of throws Jaegers at you just to have random bosses to fight, pretty much little mini bosses or whatever. Oh. Wait, so you're actually saying that the uncle's a victim here? That's kind of crazy. Um, her uncle was no victim. Her uncle, whenever the- okay, whenever that Jaeger was shooting at Ina, her uncle even was like, Aiming isn't your forte. Like, what a bitch! Your uncle pretty much wanted to kill you. He basically said, kill you. I mean, at that point, he wanted you dead. Yeah, screw that. He's no victim. No kidding. Throw this, like, lock this guy away. Throw away the key. Come on. Screw that. I mean, to forgive is divine, but... Literally, he tried to kill her. I don't think anybody can forgive that, at least, you know. Not this soon. It takes some time. Time heals all wounds. I mean, you're not gonna forgive him that night. That's crazy. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, well, just offering us leniency is nice. Huh. Well, we'll keep that in mind. Oh, well, thanks. Yeah. Oh, that's true. I mean, we didn't have Kurt on our side. If we did, we would've just lightning blasted all of them to death. From, right from the get-go. Been the easiest mission ever. She would've said, bitch, take me into the castle. Kurt would've been like, fuck you guys, lightning bolt, and it just would've been done. But unfortunately, we had crappy Shara in our party, and it just didn't work out that way. Oh, yeah, that was really crummy of you, Shara. <laughs> I'm surprised that she still got a le her letter of recommendation after doing that to Ina. That was pretty crappy. Oh, okay. You're not even gonna have a single drink? Seriously? Come on now. Oh, that's true, but it's nighttime. Just close up shop. Isn't it just an eight to five job? <laughs> water. Yeah, that's no water. Oh, what is it? Oh, okay. Wasn't she drinking just before? She has a wine glass in front of her. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, she never really gets drunk. She's, um, kind of impervious to the effects of alcohol. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers to a job well done. Jealousy isn't the answer. I mean, you, you, it's like the birth lottery, you know? You can't help where you were born or what circumstance you were born into. I mean, jealousy is completely natural, but hating them doesn't help anything. But, you know, I guess everybody finds their path. 
Oh, well, that's nice. There's nothing to forgive yourself for. Oh, well, that's nice of Ina. Wow, she's like a saint. Man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's like, unfortunately, I was passed out drunk in a pool of vomit on the floor. But with that, we finish up Shara's side story. Finally! Ooh, get Heaven's Eye. Let's go ahead and check that out real quick. Wow, this went on for quite some time. Man. Uh, let's see, Heaven's Eye, where is it? There it is. Oh, okay. I'll go ahead and clip that. That's pretty damn good. Sweet. So, next time, I'll let's play The Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky of the Third. We'll finally move on to the last part of the fourth level. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.